Hello guys, by the end of this video you will be able to rig this simple yet very powerful grease pencil mouth and even to do auto lip syncing like this. This rig is available for a small fee on Gumroad if you want to support the channel. Enjoy! So this is our mouth, it uses Rigify as usual. It has all these controls to control the shape of the mouth. So you can move this guy here, or this guy, or this guy. And you can use mirror editing here to be able to move these bones, these opposite bones together. This also will make your life easier when animating the mouth. We have controls for the tongue and for the teeth, of course. You can even resize the teeth if you want or the tongue. So S like this, you can have this effect, this cartoony effect. This is the root bone that you can use to move the mouth or rotate it or resize it. And we have this cool effect here with the grease pencil. So these lips are just grease pencil stroke. And you see they look like 3D stuff. We have even some volume to our lips. That's a cool thing. Sometimes things you don't intend but they work very very well. So you can resize and when you resize you see, you see that the width of our stroke doesn't change and you, the lips are like stretching. And if you make them smaller like this, you have this effect, it's like a kiss effect. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> you see? The last control is this one and this is a, a control to control our smile. So you can make it smile or you can make it sad or angry or whatever. You have this control and you can still move the other bones and make uh, effects like this so disable mirror editing and you can do something like this so this is it this is our beautiful mouth that you can purchase on a gumroad we will make the mouth rig from scratch but instead of making a separate mouth and then joining it with our rig we will just get our previous rig that we made during two tutorials so we will modify our rig and improve it using this beautiful uh, and powerful mouth so let's start so first let's delete the rigify rig uh, again we uh, enable this collection and then we select all its contents delete and then delete the collection okay so now only we have the old rig uh, but first let's create uh, the mouth uh, let's change it to dope sheet and then to grease pencil and you see our keyframes that we use to animate the mouth so i think we should delete these let's delete also the time offset modifier here so don't forget these modifiers that you won't use anymore so delete it and now we should be able to see our mouth shapes let's unlock our uh, layers unlock all and now i guess we could just delete these so xd and uh, let's go to frame 0 and select everything here and bring it to frame 0. I think it's a better practice to uh, draw your uh, objects in frame 0 instead of frame 1. And now let's go to edit mode. Let's select the mouse L to select all uh, pixels or vertices and then XP. Let's delete it. Now we go back to draw mode. Let's select our circle tool, select our mouth material and draw this ugly mouth here. Hit enter to comet. Okay, let's add some layers here above the mouth. The first layer is the tongue layer and then another one, it will be the teeth. Let's start editing the mouth now. Let's go to edit mode and edit this guy here. So you see we have a lot of vertices. Let's enable curve editing and let's simplify this shape. I just want to have four controls here and not all these controls. So let's dissolve some vertices here and uh, xd okay we have this ugly shape now so let's move it here make sure you have these settings in curve editing you can experience with uh, a better resolution i don't know but i usually disable the adaptive resolution and put this to 8 so let's edit this guy like this and then like this like this so less vertices, more vertices is a um, uh, better looking shape, but less vertices helps us uh, or give us better control and simpler control when we rig this mouth later. And if you want to have better resolution, you can later use uh, modifiers. Let's use the resize guy here. We try to make them the same size. We try to make the perfect uh, oval, but we don't have to really. Okay, I think this is enough. Let's disable curve editing. 
now we have less pixels less uh, vertices so now we can i think duplicate the mouth so hit this arrow duplicate layer name this guy lips and let's put the lips above the tongue and the teeth of course now let's go back to draw mode let's add a tongue let's try using a vertex color so choose vertex color choose um, a material from here that has no stroke because we don't need stroke let's use black beard here and then we will choose a color i don't know maybe from the mouth from the lips so bring your cursor here and then hit ctrl c to copy the color and then go here and here ctrl v to paste the color but we want to make it darker for the tongue of course we don't want the tongue to have the same color as the lips and now we use the circle to draw this guy here why do we have strokes because we have uh, change our so we changed our selection okay of the material so escape and then black beard we still have our color okay we can draw now so this is our tongue enter to a comet let's go to edit modes you see a lot of, of vertices here we can do just this to lower them a bit just keep it like this so l to select it all and then g to move it here to the center i hope i'm in the right layer no i'm not i'm in the lips layer so let's fix this everything is selected stroke move to layer uh, tongue before drawing the teeth let's fix our mouth and lips so we go to the materials here let's create a new material but instead of hitting new here we will choose the mouth material now we hit this guy here to make it unique and then we type in lips in this guy we will in we will disable the fill so that we have only the stroke for the lips and in the mouth material we will disable the stroke so we have only the fill so back here let's do this guy here auto lock inactive layers and select our mouth layer so that it only is uh, unlocked let's hide the lips layer so the material is good here we have our mouth material in the mouth layer let's go to the lips layer let's unhide it to edit mode let's select this guy and then we go to the materials we choose the lips material and do assign nice and then we go to our teeth layer here to draw mode and we draw our teeth I like to use the eyes material for this we don't use vertex color here we use our materials uh, our eye materials had this had this bluish color here but it looks fine for the teeth so just use it um, like this so here are our teeth we go to edit mode we choose them and then we enable curve editing we dissolve some vertices because yeah we want the shape to be simple so x d for the solve let's start editing this guy okay now let's just use alt s let's have a stroke just like this one so like this and like this and like this and i think our, we are done with our teeth let's hit l let's try to rotate it a bit maybe move it a bit with g okay i think this is good so disable curve editing and now we do some masking to mask the teeth and the tongue so we add masking here so for the teeth we add of course plus mouth and for the tongue we do the same and here is our mouth complete now we can start rigging so back to object mode and let's enable our rig let's select it go to edit mode and we have this this bone this little bone for the mouth here so let's start using this bone let's put it here let's hide this bone here with edge so that it doesn't get in our way so this rig of course we made in the previous tutorial we started in the first tutorial we made the body and in the second tutorial we made the face all these bones we made so if you follow those tutorials you will be able to make a similar rig like this so we start here by moving this like this and then we use e to extrude it and then e again and then e again so now we have our upper mouth this is the now let's go to uh, pose mode and let's change it let's hide this guy again here hide let's go here and then to bone and then to here rig type so instead of super basic super copy we will use just type in here chain we will use basic copy chain so this rig type here will be used by rigify you see the chain here 
controls are these four bones and not only this one because they are all connected here in these options we will need these bones to, to deform the mouth but they are not uh, control bones they won't control other bones but we will add more bones to control them so we just disable controls here these are all things we will tell to rigify to be able to generate a nice rig later okay so we made this here we go back to edit mode and then we select all four bones here and we hit shift t to duplicate these guys here now let's enable snap in here so select vertex and then this guy here to enable these thingies and then we choose this guy here and we go with g to snap it here and let's snap this one too make sure when you snap to put your cursor just near this uh, this ball here so that the snapping occurs nicely now we select this ball we just move these bones here let's go back to pose mode so since we, cho we have chosen our brick type here, now that it is duplicated, we don't have to uh, add it again here. Back to edit mode, now let's add a new bone here with E, so extrude and then hit C to make it vertical like this. And then let's add another one here I guess, so hit this ball here selected and then E, and now hit X to make it horizontal. Later we'll add a location constraint to this bone, that's why it needs to be horizontal. I used to uh, make it first like this, but then I discovered my mistake. Now let's select it and hit Alt P to clear parent, so it's not parented to one of these bones. It is now an independent bone. Let's do the same here, Alt P, clear parent. Let's make it smaller a little bit, so GX. And now let's add a type to this guy, so go to pose mode. We select it and then we type in here copy so not a chain but just basic super copy okay now for control this guy will control this armature here so we will have control uh, we will disable widget i don't need wid a widget for this and we will disable the form too this bone won't deform anything it just will control other bones and we disable the form here too we do the same for this guy so again we type in copy basic super copy we have control no widget and no deform here and here back to edit mode and then we duplicate this guy shift t shift t again let's move this guy here and snap it here and let's move this guy here and snap it here this guy here we will duplicate it too so shift t and then hit z to put it here Let's duplicate it again to create a tongue control, so with Z, let's move it here. The snapping doesn't help, you can disable it temporarily. Okay, let's try to select this guy. Uh -uh. I want to select only the ball, but can we resize it with S here? Okay, just let's resize it like this. And then for this guy, let's just flip it. So G, Z, and then like this nice let's duplicate it again and move it up with z let's make it a little bit smaller g z again and then we select this guy let's enable snap again and let's snap it here very nice let's go back to uh, pose mode so for these guys i mean for the teeth and the tongue bones these guys will have control and we have the form because they will deform the teeth they will move the teeth and they will control the teeth too and for the widgets they will have the, a pivot widget so yeah we use the form here too and then we select this guy and we enable all these guys here and here we use pivot and now what we need to do is go to edit mode first we need to rename our bones and also we will need to add another bone and that is the root bone so let's hit three on the numpad Let's select, uh, let's select this guy here, let's hit 3 again, and use E and then Y to extrude a big bone here, and this will be our root bone. Okay, let's go back to pose mode, this time the rig type will be also a basic super copy, and this guy will have control, we'll have a widget, we keep it a circle like this. The reason I didn't put it horizontal like this is that the circle widget will just surround the bone like this. So if you put it horizontally like this, the circle will be surrounding it like this. And from this view, it will just appear like a line. But if we put it like this and make it big, we will have a big circle here. You see, surrounding this bone. This guy will have the form. 
No, I don't think so. This guy will just control all the bones. So now the form for this guy and a circle widget and control. Let's go to edit mode. Let's not forget to end parent this guy. So uh, alt P and then clear parent. Very nice. And now let's start renaming. So we we'll start with this one. F2 mouth dot up dot L. No, this is a right bone. So R. Let's select everything. Let's hit enter. And then to the second bone. F2. We type in the same. We hit enter. And now, and now we have mouth up r and mouth up r001 now we go to this guy f2 we replace the r with an l we do the same here yeah we go to the lower part f2 mouth let's type in here low r so let's select everything copy this guy Control c and then enter and then here f2 again enter f2 again replace with l enter Replace with L, enter. <coughs> so hit F2. I will name it mouth, control, C, T, R, L, and then up. Let's select everything and copy it and then enter. Again, F2, control, V. Here, mouth, control, up, left. Okay. And here, F2, mouth, control, not up, but corner. C, O, R, left. And for this guy, we name it mouth, control, low, left we rename this to mouth teeth the reason we add mouth in the beginning is to avoid confusion with other bones the other bones of the rig so mouth tongue here this control guy here yeah it's here mouth control low so mouth ctrl and low and this guy here the root bone we call it just mouth root very nice and now we need three bones from the side so we just select these three bones and we go here to armature and in edit mode of course and we hit symmetrize the symmetrize worked gx to move them here only because we used the l in the end of these names blender just created these uh, mirror bones with the r in the end so these are the same bones on the right so G and snap them here. Nice. Now what we will need is a bone that will control these two corner bones. This bone will be the smile bone. So again duplicate from here. Shift T and X to move it here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. G X and F2. We name this guy mouth control smile. Nice. I think the bone structure is finished. What we need now is some parenting. Okay. So uh, the bones that need to be parented to the root are these guys. Are this and this and this and this. The tongue and the teeth bones. All the control bones. I think all the control except this one. And this one. Only this one will be. Uh, yeah. Parented to this and then this and this only the first bone of each chain okay so now we select the root bone as the last one and we hit ctrl p make parents and keep offset these two bones we want to parent to this guy so now ctrl p and keep offset and of course this bone is parented to the root bone and i think it should work now let's go to pose mode and try to move the root bone yeah it moves everything and if we try to move the smile bone it will move these two bones here so the first phase is finished so let's start with the second the second will be just adding some bone constraints and it's a very easy step so first we select this bone and then this bone we will add a constraint to this bone the second bone we selected to be controlled by this bone okay so now we hit Control shift c and choose stretch to this is the constraint we will use if we select your control bone now and try to move it, you see that the other bone stretches to the control bone. Now we do the same for this control bone with this bone. Okay, we add another constraint here to be controlled by this guy. So, control shift C, stretch to. And then we do the same here. And here. You see how easy that is? It's really too easy to be true. 
So, <laughs> again here, and here, and here. So all our control bones here, most of them at least, have bones to control. So if you move this guy now, for example, you will have this guy. So our mouth already is almost finished. Our rigger is almost finished. And since we have these two bones parented to this guy, now we can move this guy in, you see. We just have to have this bone stretched to this bone. So I try to use some constraints, like uh, using the, like selecting this, selecting this, and then add a copy location constraint. Control Shift C, copy location. And it somehow works, you see. It moves the mouth, but it doesn't move the same way as this guy moves, you see. We can, of course, adjust it with moving this bone and have the smile here, but it's it's really ugly. So after a lot of struggle, I finally, let's hit A, Alt G, I finally found a solution and it was very simple. So first let's remove this constraint, the copy location, and then we go to edit mode, and the solution is really simple. So you select this bone, and then this bone, and then this bone, and we parent these two bones to this guy. So we just hit Ctrl P, and keep offset, make parent and keep offset, and uh, the magic happens. Just try to move this guy, and wow, <laughs> it just worked. It's that simple. So now we have a working mouth. You can control your mouth as you wish now, from all these bones up and down. You can control your tongue, you can control a little bit your smile. But we will just add some new, uh, some more constraints. So let's select this guy and then this guy to add a constraint to this guy to be controlled by this guy. Control Shift C and copy location. You see this mess here. So here are our options for our constraints. Here we use, of course, local space. We always use local space. And then we will use one of these, X or Y or Z. This is the Z global axis, but we don't know for this bone what's that axis. So we just try to move it here with the G. And you see that it's the X. So we just lock the other axis. We keep only the X. We select our bone here too. We keep only X here too. So it's double Y and Z. So let's try to move this bone now. And you see it works. We have the bone, a bone that we control this and this bone. And later we control this bone too. And these two bones. But it's not a very good smile. So what we need to edit is... Is just this value here. The influence. I think 0 0.2 is good. So let's try again. Yeah, I think this is good. So now let's try to copy this uh, constraint to these three other bones. So we select these three bones and we select this bone as the last one. And then we go to pause, we go to constraints and to the second command here, copy constraints to selected bones. And now it's done. Okay, let's try it again. G and you see this weird behavior. These two guys go up when this guy goes down. So the fix for that is very simple. You select this guy and you hit here inverse for the X and the same here. And now everything should work fine. Very, very nice. So this is for the rigging, I guess. There's just one thing I want to mention is um, about the influence here. So uh, before I used this setup, I used to uh, use copy location here too. And when the influence is too big, like one here, you can't move this bone separately. So if you hit G, you see, it's very hard to move it. Especially if you use <laughs> all these three, so it's, it's, it's just immovable. So we want this guy to control these bones, but we also want these guys to be able to move independently. You see, that's why the influence here, when it's lowered, it helps us to be able to have control here and also control with this guy. So that's in the case you want maybe to use location constraints for these two bones too. But I think using the parenting is the simplest way. Just one more thing to do before we generate our rig is add the bendy bones. So we select this bone, go here to bendy bones and change this to 10. Let's use B bones here. Let's select every bone here and then hit I think Control alt s to resize them like this. And now let's select all these other bones. These will be our deformed bones. 
and the last one will be this one to select and in here segments we right click and we hit copy to select it and now we have our bendy bones so let's go to object mode and let's generate our rig bingo let's hide our armature let's hide our kit yeah let's unhide our uh, the form layers here and then hit shift to unhide our control layers too let's go to pose mode let's enable b bones here too as it is in display very nice and now let's try to move this guy for example and voila our mouth works very well and now it's time i guess to parent this uh, rig to our model so let's go back to uh, object mode let's select our uh, kitty kit let's unhide it just notice that i haven't deleted my uh, vertex groups here so that may help to keep the weight painting that we did last so let's select the guy let's select the armature let's do the parenting control p and set parents with empty groups so let's check if we have some new vertex groups yes we have the mouth vertex groups okay so i guess it's time to weight paint so let's select the armature let's uh, go to display here octahedral <laughs> and then uh, we display names and uh, we display only our deformed bones here select our model and go to weight painting let's disable auto lock here and uh, let's unlock let's lock everything let's unlock only the mouth and the lips now we go to our uh, vertex groups here to the mouth we have the teeth the tongue and then we have the low r the low r is this part here so let's wait paint it one here uh, let's wait from here to here okay so this all red this point here is on the other bone so we just will paint it a little bit maybe like this let's select the next bone low r this one zero zero one so red red everything here is red another bone low left here so red again let's make it like okay nice low left one so we do the sky too and now i guess the upper part up r should be this one and then this one so the weight painting is not that hard here because we have a few points and also a few bones that's the advantage of not having a complex mouth the other advantage is that uh, it is like low maintenance so the more complex the the rig or anything is the more maintenance it it needs and the more wrong things that can happen and if something wrong happens it's very hard to isolate the, the problem so now we go to our layers we lock the lips and the mouth we unlock the teeth they are selected now we go to the vertex group of the teeth and we do assign and we do the same for the tongue so let's select this guy let's uh, unlock the tongue it is selected so we go to the tongue here and click assign let's go back to weight paints and check if everything is right on our rig so we start with the pupils and then the other people the brows the lids everything looks fine till now so it was wise of me of not deleting the vertex groups the tongue the teeth nice and then all the parts of the mouth now we go to pose mode and select our control layers here and see if we can control our mouth very nice so what if we rotated the head bone oh i know that i forgot something <laughs> the mouth is not parented to uh, to the head bone we can still do that i guess here so select this and then shift select this and then we do i think we should do it in edit mode yes this one and then this one and control p keep offset yes back to pose mode and now yes now our mouth is parented and also i forgot to add a pivot to this guy this thing can also be fixed here i guess yes we just switch this uh, widget for the one of the tongue maybe yes and now we have a pivot here nice but let's just 
go to our um, initial rig and fix those issues. So to edit mode, let's unhide with Alt H and hide the head bone and uh, select the root bone and then select the head bone. Ctrl P, keep offset. Now let's go to pose mode. Let's unhide the head bone too here. Alt H, let's try to rotate it. Nice, the parenting is good. And now for this guy, let's give it a widget and it will be a pivot. Okay, this is totally optional of course but I just wanted to fix my initial rig here. Now there's one thing to do is to add those auto lip syncing capabilities by using this plugin here, this add-on, Rhubarb Lip Sync. I added a link in the description. Instructions for installing it and for using it are on that link, so no need to repeat everything. So to use this plugin, you have to have a pause library. Let's name it mouth. We will add also a, a bone group, a new bone group. Let's call it also mouth. So we select with shift our mouth bones here, the teeth bone and the tongue bone. I don't add uh, the root bone and don't add the uh, smile bone because we will have uh, mouth shapes that are neutral. And if you, if you want to add the smile later, you can add it. If you want to resize the mouth later, you can resize it. But the basic shape, but the basic shape of the mouth should use only these bones. So we select only these bones. And then uh, in the bone group here, we click assign and we change the color i like to give them a blue color here so let's deselect and this and then hit select here and our bone group is good nice and to add a pause in the library you need to uh, to select those bones so that's why this bone group helps it helps us to select quickly our the our bones so we unhide the kid and we add our first pause so Let's close this mouth. Our mirror editing is enabled, so that's good. Let's close our mouth here. And you see we have this problem here because we have only a few bones, so we have this shape here. There are two ways to fix this. The first way is to go to edit mode for our grease pencil object and make this guy, this uh, stroke thicker. And the second method is to use the root bone to resize the mouth. So let's resize it and make it smaller like this and you see. It is fixed. G to move it a little bit. And we have a good mouth here. So G again. Nice. Here's our closed mouth. So you see here now that we have these empty spaces for our rhubarb lip sync. Uh, one is for the sounds MBP, one is for uh, EE, one is for E. So this first pause is the rest position. You need to select the bones before you add the pause so that the pause includes those bones. Add new, here's our pause and let's call it rest. Now we create a second pause, let's create the B pause because it, its shape is closer to this. Now we have the shape, don't forget to select your bones before you add a new pause. So plus add new and we call this just B or P or anything, I like to keep it simple. Uh, let's add a third one for the letter E. In total we have nine pauses, but you don't have to uh, use rhubarb, these pauses you can make them and then you can animate your mouth manually. If you make a mistake, you do plus and then replace existing. Six and a half hours later. And here we are, we have our nine shapes, okay? And uh, then what you do is to assign those poses to here. So the E, the D. Here you can add your sound file. And it should be a WAV file, I think, because uh, it didn't work with MP3. As I said, you can use this plugin or you can just use your poses. To insert a pose, I guess you should select it and select your bones. Have your bones selected. And then you hit this button here and you should have your keyframes. I think first we need to have this enabled. So again, yes. Let's try this sound here. And this one here. Let's try our animation. And here we are. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to push us the mouth, it is on Gumroad. If uh, you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any uh, tutorials you want me to make, tell me also. Uh, see you later and peace.